at the Quote SS Gallery and Julia Lakija is still painting the Lagos Moolway bus. I'm here with her to see how the bus has taken shape and also to chat with her on the process of the painting. Hi, Polly. Hi, Bukola. How's it going? It's going good. Um, I'm a little bit behind time, so I'm panicking a bit, but okay. I think I should be all right. But I've got a long day ahead of me today and tomorrow, and then Friday will be my last painting day. So I have to really push it now. So, so do you running think out of you time. can be ready by Saturday? It's going to have to be... Ready? Yeah, it has to be. So we have to finish it by Saturday. Okay. Um, you mentioned the people has been coming around to watch you work and you know, chats with you, how does that feel? That's great, yeah, there's been quite a lot of interest. Um, people from all, sort, all walks of life have been popping in to see what's been going on, a lot of questions. So yeah, it's been really nice. And a lot of people have just come and just sat me painting, so, um, which is rather nice because I think it's just the most uninteresting thing imaginable must be watching paint dry. But um, I've had quite a big audience, people just coming and chilling out here and just watching what I'm doing. So it's been really nice. And uh, in fact, at the moment, I've got a student who has just come along to see what I'm doing. And right, he's good. picked up the paintbrushes and he's painting whilst I sit here and chat to you. So oh. that's really great. OK, um, you, are you distracted in any way when people come around you? To yeah, you're working. of course, it's a distraction. It depends what work I'm doing. If I'm painting a figure or a face, then I can't talk to anybody. But with the other areas that I'm painting, it's okay, the background and the other things that are going on. It's really when I'm painting figures and faces, then I can't talk to anybody. So I just ignore everybody when I'm doing those bits. So. But the rest of the time, it's quite good to chat and paint. So okay. it's nice to have some company. It's okay, it's good for you to have some company. Yes, yes, yes. It gets very lonely otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the process like? Do you listen to music? Um, do you take breaks to eat? What, what do you do? Um, 9 to about 4 or 5 p.m. when you paint, what do you do? Well, I've been starting at 8 and I finish when it gets dark. So it's a long day. Wow. Um, you might have noticed I drink tea the whole time and have a soft drink on the go the whole time to keep up the energy because it's kind of quite a physical thing when you're painting something this big um so yeah i take my breaks i have my tea my drinks and um yep i so keep going when you take breaks what kind of food do you eat like you know in my place when you're doing works that um every kind of label um, something that requires energy you there's some kind of foods that you eat are there special foods that you eat like no <laughs> but I dr i've always i always try and eat healthily so you know the problem when you're doing a job like this is it's very easy just to eat junk food that's to hand so I try not to fall into that but hey I'm sitting here with my soft drink right next to me so I shouldn't be doing that but yeah I need the energy sometimes especially when it's hot today's a bit hotter than it's been before so yeah it's good to keep the energy up um, what about music? Do you listen to music? Do you yeah, you've probably to... noticed I have a radio on the go the whole time yeah, right. or music. So at the end of the day when the battery on my iPad's going flat, I get a bit bored as well. So yeah, it's nice to have that in the background. Again, a bit of a distraction and keeps me company. So yeah. The last time you mentioned you're going to get a text to use as the background for the print. That's have, right. Have you decided on what to use? Um, yes, I'm fairly clear about what I'm using um, and I've been given permission by Ola Shupo Shashore to use an extract from his book Possessed, okay, great. which is a book that looks at colonial Lagos okay. and it looks at colonial Lagos through legal documents. And in the book there's a passage that talks about the drumming question which looks at um, one particular governor who tried to restrict drumming in Lagos because it was disruptive, because it was seen as a language that the colonial administration didn't understand. So they tried to restrict drumming and of course everybody in Lagos was up in arms and thought this was utterly unacceptable. And so the governor agreed to a hearing and invited in community leaders to come and put forward their case why they needed to be allowed to drum. And so there's a passage in this book that just is a series of extracts from these community leaders explaining why Lagosians have to drum. And it's, it's a lovely reflection on how people feel about their life in Lagos and the fact that drumming is quintessentially part of, of, of life and that um, 
it gives them people energy and keeps people dancing and, and that's active, with the which is connected. With yeah, the bars. exactly. So mm. it connects in with um, with the dancers exactly. So th what I'm doing as well, drawing on the drumming question, is I'm reflecting drums in the imagery as well. So it is now going back to being a yellow bus and with black lines, but their black lines are reflecting the strings, the leather cords that run down the sides oh. of a talking drum. So you can see they look like thick, strong yeah, strings. Black lines, they're representing the, the cords on the drum. on the drum. And that as well would be picked up in the background that will go behind oh. the image. Okay, um, with reference to the cords and the drum, is this why the the, the lines, the black lines on the boss are twisted and twisted form? Absolutely, oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a correlation with absolutely. how the strings appear and then the appearance yeah. on the boss. Yeah, absolutely. Great, I like that. Yeah, so it's also bringing back the back black lines that run along the edge of a Moloe, the sides of a Moloe anyway. So at the end of the day, we're going to end up with a Moloe that's yellow with the black lines. It's just a very different yellow and very different black lines. Stone in mind. <laughs> I mean, like, being around you has helped me to see how creativity really works in a way. I mean, the connections with ordinary things and mm. how it translates into art. Um, I noticed you've also painted the top of the bus. Nice. That's right, yeah. How, yeah. how did you get there? Well, I had what a ladder. What engines did you have? Well, I'm quite happy going up there. I've had the ladder tied to the back of the bus, so I have to get up at the back. Um, the problem with painting the top of the bus is a bit like, do you know the kids' game Twister? Yes. Um, so it's kind of difficult to paint it, and then you've got this area that's covered in wet paint, and you've got to actually put your feet down somewhere. So it's kind of physically a bit challenging, mm. but... I don't mind being on top of a bus painting. It's been quite nice. And a couple of times people have come and joined me up there. So I've had friends sitting up there chatting to me whilst I work. So yeah, it's been fun. And then the idea is when I finish painting, we have to get photographs, aerial photographs of the bus. So people can then see what it What's looks like on the top. And then also I hope when it's driving around that people in tall buildings or people on pedestrian bridges will be able to look down and see the top of the bus then. Okay, nice. Um, is that something you want to share with us? Like just doing this project could um, it have been better or I mean like oh it can always be better um, I could always do with more time I always feel that I'm painting against the clock <laughs> but that's just the way it is but sometimes actually that also helps you because it helps you prioritize and be clear about where you're going sometimes if you have too much time you mess it up so time limit sometimes helps um, other than that, I mean, I've been so well accommodated here. It's been fantastic working with quintessence. It's very comfortable here and very well looked after. So it's a great environment to work in and I've had an audience coming in and out. So it's been a really easy project so far. What about the weather? You're forgetting the weather. It's the weather's been perfect. In Lagos. Yeah, the weather's been absolutely perfect as well. So the weather's been kind to be. It's been really cool. It's been lovely. No rain. So yeah, I've been very lucky with this project. It's been fantastic. I mean, I'm really proud to see the transformation of how Lagos Molue moves from just being an ordinary vehicle to a work of art. It's phenomenal, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to be at the unveiling. My name is Vikola Oyu. This is Art Adventure. <laughs>